Yeah, I mean, that's uh, not what we were expecting or hoping for. Um, you know, I, I, in situations in games like this, um, I, you know, I usually tell you that, uh, you know, they come, they, they just come back and, you know, a lot of game left. We haven't had the bat in our hands yet. And um, if any team, in my opinion, had right to maybe shut down after this weekend and how uh, everything played out, this, this team had, had that could have and it wasn't at all what it was and they just talked about chipping away you know take our bats let's see what we can get and you know then next thing you know we get into a great spot Mark does what he does and uh, that was a that was just a you know shot in the arm and then give up a couple more but the mood never changed and you know fortunately Carlos got a few uh, got a few innings in there for us and and we had to turn over to some guys in situations that um, you know, they're tough. Back was against the wall, and they got it done. And uh, yeah, I just, you know, I think I said yesterday, wow was my explanation. I don't even know what to give you today because that was, to me, that's just uh, it's a sign of a, a tough team, a mentally tough team that uh, just uh, they're they're, they're going to be relentless. And I hope that's something we never lose. Yeah, I think I think um, you know having those games, the, those tight games, prepare guys to be in those kind of situations. Um, you know, there's pressure all the time. Every day they walk out there, every at bat, every pitch. Uh, so that's something that they they live with. But um, you know, those those type of situations, they I believe um, you know they're working on their confidence every time they get in them. But being down big like that is also, I think, it's a learned skill, and and, and part of it is being able to uh, to trust next man up. Next guy's going to do his job. I'm just going to do mine. Let's not think too much about this. You know, there's a lot of game left for us to to write this, and it's exactly what they did. You let Carlos hold the ball for a minute. You have to make the change. Can you share anything about what your message was to him at that point? No, just talking with him and and uh, you know making sure you know there's always good learning opportunities, and sometimes right out there in the middle of the field is a good one. So we had some things we needed to cover real quick and. And uh, and he got it. And um, you know, today was to me a flashback of things we saw last year and what we've celebrated that he's been able to fix in the last year. Um, it's a young pitcher. You're, you're going to have you're going to have relapses. Um, and you know, I'm I'm going to highly suggest he watches this all over again from our eyes and sees his mannerisms, sees how. Um, he was approaching the game and, and see how he let it speed up and he let his emotions take him too far in a, in a wrong direction and make sure this is, once again, uh, something that he moves forward from. If your bullpen is in better shape, did you see last in the first inning? No. Well, it, it wouldn't have, it would have been a much shorter leash. I mean, we had to get, we had to get every pitch we could and I was considering letting him go further. But um, unfortunately, we had a couple guys who could go Couple innings and um, Carlos came in and did, did a great job, and, and so did Soko. The first one, um, you know, I don't remember if I spoke Spanish or English to be honest with you, um, but that's usually the benefit early on to make sure he hears it. And I wanted to make sure that there was he understood where we were coming from and be the voice of our team. Because you know, we, whenever you have a young player like that, I think everybody collectively understands that you know part of our job is to teach him how to go about playing the game the right way. And, and he's had a fantastic start, and his stuff is so good. Today was a blip, and uh, we just need to make sure that he remembers what it felt like to to be out there today, and, and know that he had pretty good stuff and and wasn't able to um, put it together. And and once again. Um, move forward because that's not the pitcher he is anymore, and I know it's not the pitcher he wants to be. Was velocity part of the issue today? You said you saw some things that if you've been celebrating your alteration. He appeared to be going harder on the gun a little bit earlier. Was he using his velocity in response kind of the way you said that he had to grow out of? No, we don't mind the velocity. I mean, he's had some starts where he is letting it eat, but he's in the zone, and so I, I think you know. What he what he has learned is um, being able to make those adjustments. Sometimes it is backing off a little bit, but there's other times when he's been able to find the zone by by turning it up a little, and it's just making those adjustments quick. Uh, I do think that there was a little bit of a 
Carter's going to be better mentality. Um, but I think more than anything else, he just kind of lost his focus of making one pitch at a time. And uh, then he was trying to correct everything right away uh, and, and trying to make it better by you know, blowing a couple guys away and, and uh, just, just snowballed on him. Uh, we saw everybody that was hands on. So you saw our pitching staff today. And, you know, if Seth doesn't make it through it, um, I was going to ask for volunteers. So I don't know. We were, we were done. I mean, that's all there is. I mean, it was um, that, that win. I can't even explain it. I just, that was, um, it was just really impressive, all things considered, um, and what we needed from certain guys and Belial and Seth to come in and do what they did. That was, was right on time. Now that Sobolovich just won two games in two days, is he going to stay around a while? Yeah. Uh, we're, um, we're still figuring all that out. But, yeah, he's certainly done what he needs to do. And um, we watched him in spring. He did a great job. I mean, you see he's got a pretty um, wide array of pitches that he can throw just about any time. So we got, you know, still some thinking to do, and we'll have until tomorrow to figure out who's going to make that roster spot open. Like, would you do another pitcher? Could. Yeah, that's in the discussion too. Choke, choke was done. You know, Choke possibly could have thrown, um, but for the most part, I mean, we made that double switch to get Seth in there because we were riding him for as long as we could. And like I said, after that, you know, maybe Randy could come in for a little bit, but we were basically done.